coaxial pair of solenoids. A long solenoid with a capital N1 windings and radius B, uh, that's this one, surrounds a coaxial narrower solenoid with N2 windings and radius A less than B as shown in the figure. So these are two coaxial solenoids. The narrower solenoid has radius A, the other one has radius B. At the far end, the outer solenoid is attached to the inner solenoid by a wire so that the current flows down the outer coil and then back through the inner coil as shown. So the current flows in this direction on the outer coil and it's going to be back down the inner coil in the uh, narrower solenoid. Part A, the two leads are attached to a supply circuit that includes a battery supplying current I as indicated. What is the magnetic flux through each turn of the inner coil taking rightward as the positive direction? So through each turn, each turn of the inner coil. Okay, now we have uh, capital N1 turns radius B for the outer solenoid, capital N2 turns radius A less than B for the inner solenoid, and here we are applying a voltage be in between these two terminals, and they are connected at the, at the end so that I flows in this direction in the outer solenoid, and I flows in this direction in the inner solenoid, completing the circuit. I call length lambda. What is the magnetic field created by the uh, outer solenoid and the inner solenoid. Well, I know the magnetic field due to a solenoid. For magnetic field B1, I have permeability of free space, mu0, number of turns per unit length, N1 divided by lambda times the current. What is the direction of this magnetic field? Using the right-hand rule, four fingers of the right hand uh, point in the uh, upward direction following this current, uh, and then they curl in this direction. The thumb points in plus i-hat direction. So that's for the right hand. Uh, we have the four fingers following the current, four fingers follow the current of the solenoid in the outer solenoid, the thumb points in plus i-hat direction. So this is in plus I hat direction. What is the magnetic field due to the inner solenoid? That is mu zero, permeability of free space, number of turns per unit length and two over lambda times I. Now, uh, doing the same exercise using the right hand, the four fingers of the right hand point in the downward direction, the thumb points in minus I hat direction. So we can see that this magnetic field is in minus I hat direction. So what is the flux through each coil of the second solenoid? It is mu zero I over lambda N1 minus N2. That's the total magnetic field in this region, inside this uh, inner solenoid, uh, multiplied by the area of the coils. Each coil has area pi a square. So that's the radius. So the area will be pi a square. So that will be the total flux through, the, through each coil of the inner solenoid. So I I need to remember that for a solenoid, the magnetic field is mu zero, number of turns per unit length times the current. Let's move on to part B. What is the magnetic flux through each turn of the outer coil? So now I have two regions. For the region, the radius is between a and B, R is between A and B, I have the magnetic field due to the outer solenoid, 
which is mu zero n one over lambda i in i hat direction. Uh, so I will have two contributions to the flux through each coil. I'm going to have uh, mu zero and one over mu zero and one i over lambda magnetic field uh, multiplied by the area in between these two uh, solenoids. What is that area? That is pi b square minus pi a square. So the, the difference between the areas of the two circles. So this is the region for R between A and B. And then I have the flux in the inner coil uh, for R less than A. That also contributes to the flux for the outer one. Uh, so I can add these up. So flux through each coil of the outer solenoid is mu zero i pi over lambda and one b square and one b square minus and one a square so it is and one b square minus and one a square and then from this one i have n1 a square minus n2 a square so plus n1 a square minus n2 a square n1 a squares will uh, cancel so this will give me my final answer for the flux through each coil of the outer solenoid mu zero i pi divided by lambda n1 b square minus n2 a square. So I had to consider the flux through each turn of this uh, inner solenoid and then the flux in the region between the two uh, to find the total flux through each coil of the outer solenoid. Part C, what is the inductance as seen by the two leads? Okay. So the total flux, capital Phi total, is the number of turns through each coil of the outer solenoid uh, multiplied by the flux through each coil of the outer solenoid plus the number of turns in the inner coil flux through each coil of the inner solenoid. This is equal to the inductance, self-inductance, times the current I. So uh, mu zero I pi over lambda, I have N1 B squared minus uh, so n1 squared b squared, so I'm multiplying it by n1 here, minus n1 n2 a squared, minus n1 n2 a squared, then multiplying this by n2 plus n1 n2 a squared minus n2 squared a squared. You can see that n1 n2 a squared will cancel. So for the total flux, uh, I have the inductance is equal to the total flux phi total divided by the current. And this will be L is equal to mu zero pi over lambda n1 squared b squared minus n2 squared a squared.
so we can find the uh, inductance between the two uh, leads and one square b square minus n two square a square times mu zero pi over lambda. So in this problem, first I I have calculated the flux through each coil of the second solenoid, that is the magnetic field due to the first solenoid pointing in plus i hat direction, magnetic field due to the set second solenoid pointing in minus i hat direction. The net magnetic field inside this region is the sum of the two multiplied by the area of each coil pi a square gives me mu zero i over lambda and one minus n two pi a squared. For the region in between the two, I have to consider this area pi b squared minus a squared multiplied by the net magnetic field through this region. And uh, assuming that there is no contribution from the inner solenoid, the only magnetic field is due to the outer solenoid, which is mu zero and one over lambda i in i hat direction, I get this flux. So uh, the total uh, flux, uh, through each coil of the uh, second solenoid is the flux inside, which is phi 2, plus the flux due to uh, this region in between the two uh, radii, A and B, and that gives me mu 0 i pi over lambda and 1 B square minus N2 A square. So that is the flux through each coil of the outer solenoid. The outer solenoid has n1 turns, so n1 times the flux through each coil of the outer solenoid plus n2 times the flux through each coil of the inner solenoid gives me the inductance times the current L times I uh, for this uh, to find the inductance between these uh, two leads. So that's going to be uh, the sum of these uh, n1 times phi1 plus n2 times phi2. Uh, so looking at the total flux divided by the current i, I can find the self-inductance mu0 pi over lambda and 1b squared minus n2a squared.